receiving God's guidance, and we are going to continue uh, in this series, The Inner Witness of the Holy Spirit, John chapter 16. We'll look at a few verses of scripture. John chapter 16, verses 13 to 14. Jesus said this, however, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Does the Holy Spirit speak? Yes, he speaks. Jesus said he will speak to you. But God has revealed them to us. Through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. You see, God has prepared these nice things for you and me. And he's not, he's not saying, oh, well, I've got some good things for you, but I'm not going to let you know what it is. That's no point. But he says there, he has revealed them to us by his spirit. These together, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Let's read verse 16 together. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Now notice verse 14. As many as are led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. Quickening of scripture. The inner witness can come to the scripture that is quicken. We saw this last Sunday. The assurance within, the desire within, the knowing within. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which you were also called in one body and be thankful. So it says, let the peace of God rule in your hearts. That word rule simply means, in the, in the Greek, it means to be an empire. It's the desire within. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. That word give in the Hebrew is very interesting because it is a very broad word. And one part of that word, meaning of that word give means He will put. He will form or He will create in you. He will Put it in you. So you delight yourself in the Lord and he will put those desires in your heart. The knowing within. So many of us think Moses received the call when he saw the burning bush. That's not true. Forty years before the burning bush, Moses understood the call of God. How did he understand the call of God? It says very plainly, it came into his heart. It just came into his heart. The prompting. The prompting is a little stronger than the knowing. The knowing comes as, as an understanding. Uh, uh, you, you know in your spirit, it comes into your heart that this is what you're supposed to do. The prompting is a little bit more forceful. A little, uh, the nudge is a little stronger. Uh, in the stirring uh, of the Holy Spirit, you feel really moved about something. Paul, in Acts 17, verse 16, it says, Now when Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was provoked. The King James uses the word stirred within him when he saw that the city was given over to idols. So here's another way the inner witness comes. It comes through a stirring inside of us. The foreknowledge within. The Holy Spirit will show us things to he will show us things ahead of time. He, can, he knows the end from the beginning. He knows what is going to happen in your life five years from now, ten years from now, twenty years from now. He knows it. And he can show it to you. He will, can reveal that to you. The issue is, are you and I willing to sit down and listen to him? The warning within him. Uh, I'll just give one verse here in Acts 20, verses 22 to 23. Uh, the Apostle Paul says, now see, I go bound in the spirit of Jerusalem, not knowing the things that will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies in every city, saying that chains and tribulations await me. So the warning within is this, the whole, there's a tightness in your feeling. Paul said, I feel bound in my spirit. But the Holy Spirit is telling me, there is danger in Jerusalem. So there's a warning in your spirit. So you pay attention to it. If there's something uneasy, it's the warning. The apostle Paul said, I feel bound in my spirit. I feel tight in my spirit. But that is the warning 
of the Holy Spirit saying, be careful. Don't step into it. Don't go into it. And so on. So the challenge to you and me is this. To train our spirit to be sensitive to the Holy. Train your spirit. How do we train ourselves? Uh, simple things. You know, spend time in, with, with God in worship, in the word, in prayer. You know, maintain constant communion with the Lord throughout the day. Pray a lot in tongues. Learn to be still, be calm, because we need to be calm to be able to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Uh, spend time with others who are also sensitive to the Spirit of God. 